What's up y'all, Jake here. Today, I'm gonna to show you guys this really cool camera trick you can do with your photo camera to work into your next video. And an entrepreneur. So I've done this trick in the past on some music videos, um, you know, from a Kyle music video, futuristic music video, and some other videos. But recently I was working on this doc with uh, G Perico, Dave Gross, uh, D Smoke, and I was shooting for three days uh, with my red Komodo doing some like behind the scenes stuff, trailer stuff. Ultimately, I have to put together three pieces that are trailers, each individual trailers for each person for the documentary when it comes out. One of the things I was doing was this trick on set that I posted a little snippet to my Instagram and the comments went crazy on how did you do that trick? Oh, you know, wow, free game, this is so sick, definitely gonna do this. And so I just wanted to break it a little bit further down, super simple, super, super simple. Um, but it can create a really cool effect. But I was getting a lot of questions about it, so I just figured I'd touch on it real quick. So first and foremost, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your shutter down. You're gonna all the way between a 1 8th and a 1 15th. So you know how you might shoot at like 1 over 100 or 1 over 250 or whatever you have your shutter set to? Just keep taking it down until you get to like, let's say a 1 over 10. Um, throughout the whole day, I'd range anywhere, depending on the light, um, and what scene I was shooting, a one over eight to a one fifth over 15. From there, then you're gonna adjust your aperture as needed if you wanna stop down, if you wanna be wide open. Um, but if you're outside, you'll probably need to use a, an ND filter so you don't have to be at F22 like I was. But it still doesn't really matter. It moves, the image moves so quickly and it's all blurry and whatnot. So it doesn't really matter about your aperture. It's, you, you really wanna focus on your shutter. So the next thing after that is to take your camera and set it to high continuous, you know, shutter. Uh, you can do it with a single shot, 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 but it's just easier if you set your camera to like a high continuous frame rate and you're just able to pop, 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 pop as you move. And that's basically what you do. Once you set your shutter and you got your continuous, you know, frame rate on, all you do is sit there and you just start taking the photos and then you just move and it'll create this like really blurry warped effect and you're just basically almost doing like kind of the stop motion um, low shutter blurry effect and so you'll see it I'll, I'll, I'll play a quick little snippet of some of these edits that I'm working on and you can see the effect and how how cool it is and how cool it looks and how you could use these for transitions but these are all photos it is not video and there is a difference when you're shooting photos, you are capturing a single image at that blurred fr uh, shutter speed, right? You're taking photo, photo, photo. I had some people comment like, oh, you can do the same thing with video. Sort of, it's not the same. Regardless, if you drop your shutter on a red camera low to let's say a one over 10, you know, one in eight frames a second, you're still shooting 24 frames a second. You're still shooting video. So yes, you're getting a blurry shutter look, but it's still video. It has more of a continuous feel. Whereas the photos has this blurry stop motion like effect. So what you do in post, I just drag all the photos into post, um, into my edit timeline. I just put them all in a row. I nest them and then I just, command J speed uh, I increase the speed by whatever percentage I want it to be if I want them to move really fast if I want them to move slower but usually I have them move really fast so it's just like this like it just feels like this fluid fast motion you don't really want it in my opinion to just photo 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 so just speed it up nest the photos all together speed it up by whatever percentage floats your boat and then just have cut it into your videos to where it just so fun little trick, I use it quite often, uh, you know, here and there on a project that I feel like could benefit from it. Again, this style doesn't fit every single project you do, but it is a fun trick and you get some really cool photos out of it. And a lot of people on set were like, what What the hell are you doing? Cause you would just hear me click, 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 like, and then like rotating my camera or doing some weird shit. And, um, but everything turned out really, really cool. And, uh, yeah, it's a fun trick that you guys can play with on your next video. All right, guys.